Okay, part two. We are going to uh, go into the stroke properties panel a little further. So once again, I close out that. I'm going to just make a little white dot right here in the middle of the workspace. Right click and go to properties. Okay, so we just covered this panel and I'm just going to bring this up a little bit and maybe make this a little larger and uh, let's make it a different color. Let's call it uh, red. Okay. Um, so now that I've got that, what I'm going to do is click on stroke and choose shadow. Okay, so this panel will allow me to enable a shadow for this object. This object could be anything. It could be your logo, it could be text, um, you name it. So first thing I'm going to do is turn on shadow by hitting shadow enable. Okay, nothing really seems to happen when you do that. Um, I'm going to make it uh, a color, okay, and I'm going to make it something that would really stand out. So we're going to make it yellow, okay. Still nothing perceptible about that, uh, so we're going to bring the width up. Oh, there it is. And, uh, you know, you can adjust it out. One, let's set there, and then opacity. We'll make it full opacity. And then let's bring it away from the object. So you can either go that way or you can go that way. So um, let's bring it way out here. And um, you can see that it's just basically a shadow. Um, now it doesn't really look like a shadow. It could be actually an orbiting moon. So if we bring the elevation away, like right there, and then we animate, let's say, the azimuth. Look at that. In fact, that's how I did uh, this other animation that I'll show you guys in a minute. But this is just a shadow that I've uh, you know, brought away from the object. Let's bring the opacity down and let's bring the elevation back and that is a shadow. So um, let's see here. Let's say this is something you want to use again later in the past or in the future. You can just drag this out. I'm using my right mouse button and I'm going to hit save. So there's the paint stroke. I select that. Now everything, every you know, it's a, still a spray, so you see it came in, but um, basically it has a shadow feature to it. So there you go. That's the shadow. Um, I did change from color to, uh, or from darken to color. You could, just, you know, get to all these other things again if you want to change your colors, all that good stuff. So that's what it is. Now, let me show you one that I'd created earlier. Um, this is actually using, uh, that is a shadow, believe it or not, instead of, let's look at it. So if we go to the layer that it's on and we go to the properties of the middle object, we go to shadow, I'm actually, uh, it says that it's a color, um, I guess because the object has that center to it, uh, but you can see it's animated, the azimuth, so if we bring it around, you can see that moving. So there's another thing you do, and this, then I get really crazy with it. Um, let's see here, no, nope. oh, this is, this is wild. So what's happening here, we'll get into that later, okay? We'll talk about that later. So that's the shadow uh, panel, and that is the end of this tutorial.